हाँ प्यारे बच्चों कैसे हैं आप आज हम एक टॉपिक शुरू करने जा रहे हैं सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज और उसमें आज हम सबसे पहले अर्थमेटिक प्रोडक्शन के बारे में पढ़ेंगे तो एनी सीक्वेंस सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज एनी सीक्वेंस विच इज ऑफ द फॉर्म ए कॉमा ए प्लस डी कॉमा ए प्लस टू डी कॉमा ए प्लस थ्री डी एंड सो ऑन अप टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इंटू डी इज कार्ड अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेस या ए टी सी फिर ए इज द फर्स्ट टर्म एंड डी इज द कॉमन डिफरेंस ऑफ द ए पी एंड इट्स जनरल टर्म इट्स एच टर्म इज कार्ड जनरल टर्म इट्स एच टर्म इज ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इंटू डी फिर A is first term and D is equal to second term minus first term or third term minus second term. There is always a common difference between the two successive terms. Third minus second is equal to second minus first. Fourth minus third is also equal to third minus second and that difference is called common difference and it is generally obtained by subtracting the first term from the second term this is the common difference common difference d is equal to second term minus first term that is equal to d And general term a n or b n is equal to a plus n minus one to b. This is the formula for the general term of the arithmetic progressions. General term is the term by virtue of which we can find any terms. In order to find the first term, we have to put n is equal to one. In order to find the second term. We have to put n is equal to. We can find any terms from the general terms of any sequence, and this is the nth term, which is also called general term of this sequence. Now, the sum of the first n terms of the sequence. The formula for the sum of first n terms of the ep ap is as n is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into b this is the formula for the sum of the first n terms of a of n a It can also be said as as n is equal to n by two into a plus a plus a plus n minus one into b, and this part is last term n term. It can also be written as l. That is is equal to n by two into a plus n. Here L is the last term, which is the nth term of the A. This is also the formula for the sum of the first n terms of n A B. That's all. Now let us discuss the application of the formulas of the arithmetic progressions. 
general terms and the sum of the n terms. The both formula we have discussed. Question number one, exercise nine point two. Find the sum of all integers from from one to two thousand one. Because one and two thousand one both are odd, then we have to include both while finding the sum of the odd integers. Line B from one to two thousand one. So let S n is equal to one plus three plus five plus seven plus n so on two thousand one. These are the odd integers from one to two thousand one. Here, this is the nth term. First of all, we have to find the value of n. A n is equal to two thousand one. If we have not the value of n, then we cannot find the sum of the these all integers. First of all, we have to find n, and n can be found by using this last term, taking it as a n. Let this is a n. Total number of terms are n. A n is equal to two thousand one. Because it is an a p. Here first term is one, and common difference is two. There is a common difference. Five minus three is equal to three minus one. Seven minus five. All equals. Common difference. Hence it is n a p. Applying the formula of general term of the AP, A plus n minus one into D is equal to two thousand five. Now, putting the value of A and D, A one plus n minus one into two is equal to two thousand five. This implies one plus multiplied by two, two n minus two is equal to two thousand five. Minus two plus one becomes minus one. 2n minus 1 is equal to 2.1, and 2n is equal to 2.1 plus 1 is equal to 2.2. Dividing by 2, we get n is equal to 1.1. Total number of terms from 1 to 2.1, and which are odd, is 1.1. Now let us apply the formula for S n because S n is equal to n by two into a plus l. That is is equal to one thousand one upon two into one plus one thousand one. That is is equal to one thousand one. Multiplied by two thousand two divided by two, and that is further equal to one thousand one multiplied by one thousand one. Upon ye two se ye cancel two thousand two one thousand one, and after multiplication we will get this value. Now it becomes one thousand one multiplied by two thousand two divided by two, and that is is equal to one thousand one multiplied by one thousand one by cutting two thousand two by two, and after multiplications we will get the value one zero zero two zero zero one. बहुत सावधानी से मल्टीप्लिकेशन करनी है. और ये इसका आंसर है दिस इज द सम ऑफ दी ऑल ऑड इंटीजर्स फ्रॉम वन टू टू थाउजेंड वन दैट्स ऑल
Now let us discuss the question number two. Application of the arithmetic progression. Find the sum of all natural numbers lying between. In this case, we have to find the sum of the all natural numbers lying between, not from one hundred and one thousand. Which are multiple of condition is which are multiple of five. We cannot include one thousand and one hundred because we have to find the all natural numbers which are multiple of five, yet which are divisible of by five lying between, not from one hundred to one thousand. To let S n is equal to 105 in the first term, 110, 150 plus dot 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 995 will be the last term, which is multiple of 5 and lies between 100 and 1000. In this case also, first of all we have to find the total number of these terms. And it will help us. It is the nth term of this arithmetic process. It is an AP. Because third minus second is equal to second minus first. So which is an AP? Which is an AP? Where A is equal to 105. B is equal to 110 minus 105, that is 5. And AN is equal to, the let AN is equal to 995, that is the nth term of this arithmetic progression. So, first of all, let us find the value of N applying the formula of AN, A plus N minus 1 into B. Is equal to 995. This implies 105 plus n minus 1, that is requirement, into 5, that is 995. 105 plus 5 and minus 5 is equal to 995. Therefore, we get 100 plus 5n is equal to 995. Taking this 100 to the right side, we get 5n is equal to 995 minus 100. 5n is equal to 800. 95 divided by 5 we get 5 under 5 that is 179 the value of n is 179 after dividing 895 95 by 5 we get this now applying the formula of Sn, we can find the value of Sn. Formula is Sn is equal to n by 2 into A plus L and that is equal to S179 will be equal to 179 upon 2 into A is 105 and L is 995 and that is, is equal to 179 upon 2 multiplied by 5 times of 10 10 we get 100 and 100 this is the sum of 100 
905 and 995. 1100. 1100. And after dividing and multiply, we can find the value of. After dividing, we get 179 multiplied by 550. And therefore, after multiplying 179 by 550, we get 98,450. This is the answer of this question.